Hey, I'm Bill Kleinus, and today we're talking lighting, and specifically how you can use lighting to help you every day with your detailing. So lighting is really, really important, and it not only speeds up your work, but it can slow it down too. So it's important to utilize the lights to their best ability, but also not to get lost in your lighting. You know, keep working forward, don't slow yourself down too much with lighting, because you're gonna see everything with this. Focus on the surface of the paint, not on the pigment and the color. And, and the most important part is your angle and your lighting. You know, if, if we look directly down into the surface of this paint, it looks really, really nice. But if you get down at like a 45 degree angle and I'll look directly across the panel, you know, I can see chips and dings and scratches that I can't see from this head on view. You need to train your eyeballs when you're looking at like a 45 degree angle, instead of looking into the surface or, or into the pigment, the color of the paint, you need to look at the surface of what it, what's here. So I can utilize any bits of these lights here as just by moving around. So right now that light's faced this way, but I'm looking at it here and I'm tracing. So a lot of times if you see a detailer, they're always moving around the surface and looking with their head. All I'm doing is taking that light and moving it around on the surface of this paint to inspect it. Real quick, one other thing I like to cover when I've got one of these, something a little more focused. If you ever see like a star pattern coming off the center of your light, Nine times out of 10, for me, it tells me that I've got something on the surface. There's some kind of haze here. Um, maybe there's compound on the surface. Maybe there's wax on the surface. But it's, it's there and I need to wipe it up because if I take it outside, it's gonna look bad and I can't deliver the car like that. So generally, I'll try and clean the surface down a little bit until I get rid of that because you should actually see a very clear, in this case, this is an LED. You should see a very clear light right on that surface. You shouldn't have imperfections there. Um, depending on the level of correction you're going for with your work. Um, so if you ever see any of that there, it's a lot easier to take care of it now than it is before you take it outside and then need to bring the car back in again. So one of the reasons I like to use our ALS lights, especially with this stand, is when I'm working down on the sides, you know, the flat areas, a lot of times you can use the lights that are up on the ceilings in your garage and it's no problem. Um, but when you're on the sides and down low on a vehicle, it's really nice to have a stand behind you because I can focus this directly to you know, one side or the other of me and, and see what it is I'm trying to do the whole time while I'm compounding. But a lot of times with the lighting, you know, especially our ALS lights, they're a little bit more of a blue hue. They're not as much of a yellow or like a natural like you would get with like, kind of like the scan grip. Um, but that being said, they're really, really great for paint correction. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best for painting um, because I wouldn't want to use a blue hued light you know, to do my color matches with. But any of these lights in here are capable of highlighting surface, surface marring, scratching for quick detailing. So if you look in my shop, you can kind of see I've got halogen lights, I've got LED lights, I've got you know, different stand-up lights. Um, and really, the, I think that the most important thing to do is to have a variety of lighting, um, some that mats it out, some that really highlights, come, kind of like a color match light. Um, and, and the true key is training your eyes to know what to look for. So these are some of the tips and tricks that I like to use just kind of to maximize and make my life easier when it comes to detailing, especially with paint correction. Um, I can't stress how important lighting is. It not only helps you be more productive, but it also helps you elevate the amount of work that you're gonna deliver because you can deliver a better car every time.